Hey folks, good morning. I've been uh, diligently working on my uh, trailer project here. Uh, been slow going because I, I do a lot of pondering and thinking, figuring out how I'm going to do things, and uh, that kind of holds me up since I've never done this before. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over some of the things that I've got accomplished. Uh, one of the things I've done here is I put in a uh, a 110 outlet right there. So uh, if I'm camping and I'm in a, actually in a campground uh, and I'm hooked up to shore power, I can plug in uh, a 110 device out here. I'll have a canopy and whatnot, but I'll be able if I have a need for something that's 110, I have a plug right there. Uh, I did get the uh, the second window in, so that that's done. But uh, and around the other side here, uh, over here I have my uh, water uh, input, uh, gravity feed, and also city hiccup. It's right there. Also over here is where I have the uh, shore power input right there. Let's go inside. Right here is where I have my uh, my power lines coming into because my uh, breaker box is going to be in this area in the cabinet. Uh, gravity feed be going right there to my water tank. Uh, this is the uh, city water uh, that'll be hooked up. This will goes down to the water tank, and there'll be a water pump hooked to that. Grounding. I know uh, the instructions on those uh, breaker boxes is that you have to have two different grounding points. So what I did was I went ahead and fabricated uh, a grounding point. I took a rod and welded it to the uh, to the frame, and then I also welded a washer there, and so I'll be able to. Uh, have a heavy duty uh, grounding point uh, for my breaker box whatnot right here. Instead of just screwing into the frame, I wanted to make it really solid. Uh, I could take it off and on and not have to worry about it, but that's what that's for. And here's the uh, input line or the uh, shore power. Here, here's where I've been doing my finishing in here with the thumb and groove. I just bought it from Lowe's. Comes in a six pack or six pieces. Rather expensive, but they didn't have any, any uh, plywood sheeting when I decided to get my roof material, so I decided to go with this tummy roof. Also, what I've been working on is uh, the ceiling, and you can see, let me go back here and kind of walk in, and uh, I still haven't got this part done, but anyway, you can see it's a cedar tongue and groove. I've got that installed. Uh, you can see the, those are the lights I'm going to have. So there'll be uh, numerous of those around. And uh, of course, there'll be a, a trim piece going across there for that area right there. But anyways, it's got two co coats of uh, polyurethane, uh, water-based on it. And uh, now let me show you what I'm going to do back here. Okay, hopefully there's not too much uh, glare from the back there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this area in with tongue and groove also, but I didn't want this uh, big ugly spring system showing up here. So what I've done is uh, I'm making a system. Where my pieces here will come across and butt right here. And then also there'll be a uh, tongue and groove down here and I'll be able, this will be removable. So if I need to do any maintenance on the spring system, I'll be able to uh, work on the spring system. But I saw another guy on uh, YouTube that did this to hide the spring and I said, hey, you know, that's a pretty good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. Bought some spotlights that are going to go up above my ramp so I can have some floodlights uh, to the back, maybe when I'm backing up at night or uh, when I get somewhere at night and need some lighting. But anyways, I bought these uh, pretty reasonably priced. There's a drip ledge above the door. And for me to use that, what I've done is made a little bracket here. And that'll fit there. And then I'm taking this and riveting it to the bottom of the drip uh, ledge there. Uh, get it out from the trailer. But anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. All right, this is what I've done here. I've got the bracket. Uh, that I've made uh, riveted to this drip guard and then the wires go through that hole and I'll seal that up and then that that just bolts uh, to right there 
and that way I'll have me some uh, nice lights uh, to the back of the trailer. So I've got the one done and I'm fabricating the second one now. Hey, uh, I went ahead and installed uh, some LED lights uh, for some outside lighting. I've got uh, one LED right here uh, that'll cast some light down on the hitch if I'm doing any hitch work. And then I'm also over here on this side, I've got one here by the door entrance right there. Yeah, I've been working on my ceiling. Uh, it's uh, about 95% done. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, cover up the uh, springs back here. So I went ahead and boxed that in. I'll give you a look here. You can see you got it boxed in right there. Uh, the only place you can see anything is right where the drums are at. But uh, anyway, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I still have some uh, trim work to do. I still have to put trim uh, on this area right here all the way around. But otherwise, the, uh, the ceiling, uh, I think, turned out pretty good with the cedar.